can I declare business? Hey, I just wanted you to know that you can't just say the word and expect anything to happen. I didn't say it, I declared it still. Hey guys, welcome to Wedding Tips by Joe. My name is Joe, I'm the creative director of Orange Flow, and today we're gonna be talking about why your vendors need to be actual businesses. Just because someone's in the wedding industry doesn't mean that they have a registered business. It doesn't mean that they have the required licenses to perform their specific service. And these are questions I would ask any vendor. Now there could be specific reasons why someone doesn't have a a business set up, but not having a business means number one, they're not protected financially if something goes wrong, but it also means that if they scam you, if something happens and you need to get a refund or you need to take legal action against them for any reason, if they don't have a business, they can disappear a lot more easily. If it's a registered business, however, you can look up that business and get public information about them if something crazy goes on. This isn't happening to everybody all the time, but there is an increasing number of vendors out there scamming people and making sure that people have a registered business is going to protect you. Another benefit is it shows that they have some kind of business acumen. It shows that they know how to actually run a business, that they're taking the steps to be legitimate. It just gives you some confidence that it's not someone who just is desperate for money so they randomly started a business. It's not someone who's just doing this for a hobby but they don't really care. Like you can do some things as a hobby but in my opinion when it comes to someone's wedding day, one of the most important days of their entire life, there's no do-overs, <laughs> there's no room for error so it's just not really a hobbyist industry in my opinion. Asking your vendors, are you a registered business, is just an important question to ask. And if they're not, hear them out on why, but just know that you do have a little bit less protection and they have a lot less protection if they don't have an actual business set up. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow with another wedding tip.